The DISC model is a popular method used to measure the dimensions of a person's personality and is able to describe human behavior in different scenarios. For example, DISC could be used to predict how you would respond to challenges, how you react to rules, or how you influence others. Not only that, but it also measures personal tendencies and patterns of behavior that can help people discover the right career path for them. The DISC system is broken down into four aspects of personality and is often displayed on a wheel chart separated into four equal segments that include dominance, influence, steadiness and conscientiousness. Using the four segments as a foundation, the person being assessed will then expand into the different areas to get a greater understanding of their personality. In today's video, we will take a look at each section of DISC and explain how they represent an aspect of personality. Before we do get started, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way, you won't miss the next video covering the DISC personality model. The DISC model was developed from the theories of Dr. William Marston, who wrote the famous novel The Emotions of Normal People back in 1928, which suggested that all people are compelled to act on four intrinsic drives. Although it is Dr. Marston who was credited for developing the DISC assessment we use today, it was in fact psychologist Walter Clark, who created the DISC profile test back in 1956, which was based on Marston's theory. Clark drew up a checklist of descriptions that he called the activity vector analysis. Using this method, he prompted those being tested to pick the adjectives that best apply to their personality and then place them into specific categories. By 1965, Walter Clark had published his research in the Journal of Clinical Psychology. By then, he had moved on from the checklist model and developed a self-description test. This new test required people to choose between two terms which then determined which category their personality belonged to. In the 1970s, self-description was used by American psychologist John Geyer to develop the original personal profile system. From this, many versions of the DISC personality model were born. Each quadrant that makes up the DISC circle has descriptive words attached to them that try and capture the typical behavior of people. Often, a person will not belong to a single group but will have one quadrant that they relate to the most. The first quadrant is dominant, which is the most assertive and demanding of all the four DISC types. Dominant people are often competitive and results-oriented, looking to come out on top, no matter what. Because of this, they can sometimes be seen as being blunt, aggressive, and even rude in their approach to things. When D-style people feel pressured, they often focus further on getting the job done. This can make them come across as insensitive or showing a lack of concern for others. Of course, this doesn't necessarily mean that they feel that way on the inside, but will display those traits when dealing with a task. A big part of the dominant personality is that they don't want to lose control. This means that they will focus on actively trying to stay in charge of tasks and other aspects. Dominant people tend to move quickly and are willing to take risks to get things done as fast as possible. Sometimes, they can be impatient and overbearing because of the need to get things done quickly. Dominant people tend to adapt extremely well to change and will take on new challenges without hesitation. Although they are prone to making risky snap decisions, they can excel at looking at the big picture and multitasking. If you are the type of person who would ask questions like, what's the bottom line, or what do I get out of it, the odds are, you have dominant personality traits. People who fall into the influence profile are usually outgoing, sociable, and talkative. They are filled with optimism and often want to be the center of attention. With such a large personality, I-styled people prefer to spend time with others and will influence them to follow them as a leader. They also know precisely what they want and will persuade others to work with them to get things done. Influence profiles usually crave social acceptance ultimately liking to be liked. They can be spontaneous, impulsive, talkative, emotional, and lacking focus. They can sometimes overpromise people as they are eager to please. I-styled people are seen as friendly, energetic, and extremely lively, but can also be seen as careless and disorganized. When put under pressure, they have a tendency to focus more on the people, which can lead to some details and tasks being overlooked. If you are the type of person who asks questions like, who will be at the meeting, or who else uses that website, it's likely you belong to the I-styled profile. People belonging to the S-style profile are steady, calm and easygoing. They prefer to interact with people they know, since they are more reserved. S-style people prefer things to remain the same because they like stability and security in their life. 
They view family and friends as the most important things in their life. They will strongly defend their friends, family, or team, sometimes with a lot of emotion. S-Style profiles value fairness and justice above all else and are reliable and stable people. They focus on cooperating with people, especially with those in charge. They want to take commands, understand what it takes to complete the task, and then get on with it. If you do not give an S-Style profile enough details, however, they may not get started as they are worried they will make a mistake. S-Styles are often more hesitant when making decisions and take their time to spring into action. Since they prefer stability and security in their life, S-Styles often resist change and need support with it. If you are the type of person who asks a lot of how questions such as how are we going to do this or how is this going to change things, it is likely that you belong to the steadiness profile. Conscientiousness profiles are the most analytical and reserved of all the DISC personality groups. They can be very detail-oriented, focusing on facts, information, and proof. Although they can work in a group, they are more comfortable working alone. C-style profiles are cautious and hold themselves to high standards. They focus on analyzing tasks and the quality of the product or service. C-styles make sure that everything works the way it should. C-styles can come across as critical of others, focusing on finding mistakes and expecting everyone else to follow their standards. Others can perceive their attention to detail and correctness as nitpicking. They can overanalyze problems and need a lot of information to complete a task. Under pressure, they can come across as being overly critical of themselves and others. C-styled profiles will ask a lot of why questions such as, why should we do it that way, or why is this step needed? There are a number of reputable websites that offer free DISC tests. In fact, many companies will use the DISC assessment in the hiring process to see if a person has the right personality and skills to succeed in a certain position. According to studies, around 70% of Fortune 500 companies, that include Walmart, Amazon, Apple, and AT&T, use the DISC method in their hiring process to determine if a person's personality will fit in with their company. In future videos, we will take a closer look at the four DISC groups, as well as conduct a quiz that will help you determine which profile your personality belongs to. And that concludes our video on the DISC personality model and how its quadrants are broken up to categorize the personality of a person. After hearing about each profile, which one do you think your personality belongs to? We would love to know in the comments section below. If you would like to hear more about the DISC personality model, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. That way, you will get a message the second a new video is uploaded. Thanks for watching.